All right, welcome to Sunday Mod Day. I'm gonna do a few modifications on the trailer. I got the screen defender I wanna put in. I got a new uh, black hose that I wanna store. A couple weeks ago, I installed this under the trailer pipe, which is designed specifically for the black hose, but you could also put in there fishing rods or anything that's long. I was putting it in here, but the rust was a concern. But the big project is removing the top bunk. I don't know what I'm getting myself into yet, but I'm gonna attempt to remove that top bunk, which will open up this whole area over here. I've tried climbing under there, I've tried climbing up there. It's just too difficult and it's too confining and we don't really need bunks, but that will open up this big space and make that a nice little seating area. Let's see what we can do here and let's see how hard, I've seen other people do it. So it can be done, I just never done it. Here we go. All right, so first thing you need to get yourself is a square bit. I actually have a few different sizes here, but this is the only one that I really ever need. And this is going to take out all these screws. All these screws that are along this metal all take this square bit. See this right here? Boom. A lot of weight just came off of there. So I think I'm going to do the back side first and work my way forward because I'm not really sure what's going to happen here. This is kind of nerve wracking. All right, I've got all the screws out. Supposedly, nothing is holding it in place. It is moving a little bit, but there's something else holding it in place, and I haven't figured that part out yet. So now I'm gonna climb underneath, and I'm gonna push on a little bit, and see how much movement we get. Oh, that moved quite a bit, actually. So I got all the top screws out, and it's loose. I can feel it loose, but it's not releasing all the way, and there's something up behind here that I just discovered. Two screws, one here and one here. And you see that screw right there? And there's another one right there that I believe are the final two screws. And this thing should slide right out. Now, it lifts right up. All right, I think I need another set of hands. I definitely need another set of hands. Except I'm afraid to ask the wife. If she sees this, she's going to freak out. I can fix that. I'm not too happy about that. Son of a bitch. Other people who've done this haven't said anything about it. All right, oops. See, I knew she was gonna see it just as I turned the camera on. Okay, it's not as bad as it looks. Well, I guess that's payback for this. Oh yeah, we haven't even talked about that yet. <laughs> that can be made to look better. Are you? Okay, I expected it to be some scuffs and I was gonna put some- Are some, you gonna fix that? It's gonna, it's, we're gonna work on it. I'm, I'm a, I'm a little concerned about it myself, but I have confidence that we can do something about that. And, and, and right now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get this out without doing any more damage. But I need two hands to, to get it up it's, and it's a little heavy, so I need some help. We're gonna lift up on that side and clear the USB and the light. See it? Do you yeah, see it? Yeah. So watch it. We're gonna do it right now. <clears throat> so you, right, there you go. Lift and clear it. Okay. Now I'm going to lift my side and we're gonna move in like this. And I'm gonna lay it down right on my, don't hit the, don't hit the, don't hit the. Hit the what? Hit the what? The light. Okay, let me get out. Get out of there. I'm trying to get out. Okay, pretty much get it to the floor and out the door. So I'm gonna slide it till I can clear this wall. There you go, perfect. Just slide it, slide it, and now I clear the wall. And now I can slide it down like this so it's flat. Okay. Oh, yep, I that. Okay, turn it right to the garage. It's out. But it wasn't without damage. We got scratches here. Obviously all the holes and then this is the worst of it So that my friends is how you remove The top bunk in a grand design 21 BHE It's not as easy as I thought 
or others may look but it's not awful terrible either there is some cosmetic work that has to be addressed and for me that's painful to see and I'm sure my wife when she walked in here and saw what I did was a little he was a little surprised when I walked in well I because yeah all right so it's done now I have to run to the store and get some stuff to cut, hide, hide that cosmetic stuff so that's gonna be the next step but that's that was the steps to actually remove it and now that it's out I can do the cosmetic work mm -hmm. and put everything back and then we can make the bed Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a really cool space. In the end, this will look really good. I think so. Okay, cool. So I'll show you more in, okay. a, little, in a little bit. All right, so, and that's the finished product. So it opens up the room. It's a really nice space. That top bunk was just in the way, ridiculousness. And for just the two of us, we don't need that top bunk. That was the bunk bed modification on the Grand Design 21BH. If you got any questions, comment below. Otherwise, stay tuned for other mods and improvements on the 21BHE.